Well, let's look at uh, segment two, installing and running processing. Uh, this is pretty simple to do. Uh, we'll go to the processing website and download the native processing environment, uh, move it into an applications directory, uh, and start it up and then run an example. And uh, really about what, about what uh, processing is, is it's, it's a fully featured programming language. Um, now, it's just been simple, the syntax is simplified so that uh, it's an easier entrance into coding for people who aren't familiar with it, or for people who are already familiar with coding, uh, just a rapid way to sketch ideas. So we'll go to processing.org in a web browser. We'll go into processing.org. Uh, pretty much here you can learn everything you need to learn about processing, although it does help quite a bit to have some, someone give you some pointers on how to get going. Um, the Getting Started with Processing book uh, that apparently we're giving away for free to one lucky winner today <laughs> is a really excellent example. It's uh, written by Casey Rias and Ben Fry, who uh, created the processing initiative to begin with at MIT, I believe, in 2003, and have continuously updated it and kept it going uh, for the world to have. Uh, it's freely available on the download page. And again, looks like we're having a little bit of bandwidth issues today. Um, but basically, there will be available, there's versions available for uh, Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, installation on OS X um, in front of you um, and kind of talk through how that works on Windows. And uh, Linux folks, um, you're pretty much on your own, although you will need a, a, a clue is that you'll need a Java uh, runtime in order to run it, run processing. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm on Mac OS X, so I'm gonna just follow the process here. And if you're on Windows, uh, if you're familiar with Java, so I just clicked on Mac OS X, it's starting to download. Um, if you're familiar with Java, you can do the without Java version and use your own version of Java. Uh, if you're not familiar with any of this, uh, it's highly su suggested to just download the Windows one, which has everything you need all in one. Um, now on OS X, when you've downloaded this, it'll open up a folder, like a disk image, um, that basically you just drag this thing over to your applications folder and it just copies. Uh, on Windows, it's even easier than that. Uh, if you've downloaded just the plain Windows version, uh, it'll have a .exe file inside that folder. If you just keep that folder that you downloaded and unzipped exactly how it is and just run that .exe, it will run. Uh, if you uh, like, you can move it into your program files folder, which I would recommend just to keep things tidy. So now that I've copied this over to the applications folder, I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna add it to the dock. Um, looks like it's already been added at one point, but here we go. And it's giving me a thing, you know, I'm sure you wanna open this thing from the internet. Yeah, I do. Uh, opening it up, uh, it's a previous example that had been open. Um, but basically, we'll just go to a new one. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna close some windows here in the background so we can just get a, a view of that and uh, eject this thing just real quick. So this is the processing uh, development environment. Uh, this area in here is where you type your code. Uh, this play button will actually compile the application right then and there and run it. Uh, this stop button will then close that application. Uh, and there's some other kind of handy things, uh, new file, uh, open an existing file, save this file, or export it. And this export button actually exports an applet, which is ready for the web. Uh, there's a few limitations to the web version of that, but we'll go over that stuff later. Um, or you can look on processing.org again to find out that kind of stuff yourself as well. There's a lot of information on there. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just open up an example. And so we're gonna go into examples, and we're gonna go down into uh, topics, or actually we're gonna go into basics. 
Then we're going to go into structure, and then we're going to run setup draw. And you'll notice it opens it up in the new window. Uh, we can just close that one in the background. And the reason I choose this example is because it covers two really basic functions in processing. Uh, setup runs once at the beginning of the program, and that's this whole code block inside these curly braces. And then the other one is draw, which runs in a loop continuously from that point forward. So each uh, frame, as it were, it runs the instructions inside here. Uh, now, if we want to see what these uh, set of instructions are doing, then we just simply, simply press the play button, and it'll open up, and there we go. We see a rising line. And that's basically, it's just told at the beginning of the program how big it's going to be, uh, what color the stroke is going to be, and what the frame rate is going to be. Um, we'll get more into what all these different things do later, but long and the short of it, that's how you run an example. There are tons of great examples already with the distribution of processing. Just try a few out, see what they do. And uh, if you're familiar with what's going on already mostly, or even not at all, just try saving, changing some of these numbers and uh, pressing play again just to see what they do. So that uh, is, in the long and the short of it, how to install processing.